Atomic and optical physics is an exciting frontier in physics. This area leads to a deeper understanding of atoms and light atom interactions. The accomplishments in atomic and optical physics were recognized with several Nobel Prizes. But this area has also important applications. The two poster children of atomic and optical physics are the invention of the laser and also atomic clocks for the global positioning system and for worldwide communication. Very soon we will see new quantum sensors with unprecedented sensitivities, new generation of atomic clocks and some special purpose quantum computers. The MIT atomic physics course is unique and quite different from courses taught elsewhere. When I started teaching the course, I really wanted to maintain this unique spirit of the course that combines the classical perspective and the quantum perspective. Often we focus very much on just the quantum explanation, but I think it's a combination of both which provides deeper insight. The course at MIT was developed by Dan Klebner, Dave Pritchard and myself. When I came to MIT, I started the atomic physics course. The three of us are actually a family of scientists. Dan Klebner was a PhD advisor of Dave Pritchard and Dave Pritchard was my postdoctor advisor. It's actually quantitatively accurate. This lineage goes actually further back to I. I. Rabi, the person who started modern atomic physics because Norman Ramsey was a graduate student of I.I. Rabi and then Klepner was the graduate student of Norman Ramsey. So in that sense, my great-great-grandfather, scientifically speaking, is I.I. Rabi, and I think you feel that in this course. I find atomic and optical physics really fascinating. It has interesting concepts, sometimes counterintuitive and surprising concepts and it's just a pleasure to understand it. And when you understand phenomena in atomic and optical physics, you obtain a deeper understanding for quantum physics or you can even say a deeper understanding for the world.